To upload to Chillout VR, you're going to need an account. As you can see, I have one right here. To follow along, please open the links in the description. I have everything you need there. As far as I know, you should still need this version of Unity. As before, just click the Unity editor, install there. Next, make sure you have the Unity Hub. Choose which one you have, Windows, Mac, or Linux. After you install all that, make sure you go to the Poyomi shaders. You can get either one. I usually get this one right here. Once you have the Unity Hub, make sure go to Installs and locate your Unity install. Finally, most important step, make sure you have the Unity CCK, the Content Creation Kit for Chillout VR. Again, you can find all of these links in the description below. Of course, you're going to need the Nardorgon. Be very careful. Make sure you don't hit the SDK. You want the CCK 2.0 or whatever version it is out now. Finally, once you have Unity open, the first thing you're going to install is your CCK. This can take a few minutes. And once the CCK is installed, you'll see it here and up here. But we'll get to that in a moment. Finally, install your Poyomi shaders. Again, this can take a few minutes. Now for this next part, I'm supposed to show you how to import the dynamic bones. It is a paid asset. It is $20, and I do not have the dynamic bones. It is optional. Do you know all it really does? This is not necessary. It just makes your ears, your tail, your fluff, you know, a few things move around to give it a little bit more of a fluidity and more of a realistic feel. But finally, you'll be installing your Nardorgon. Now let's get the Nardorgon inside of your Unity project. Go to your Dragon folder. And just like the VRChat tutorial, please be sure to hit the Unity logo that shows Nardorgon, because this has everything set up for you, ready to install. This is just a prefab. It will have nothing on it. If you would like to know how to import your textures, uh, custom textures, onto the Nardorgon, please check out the VRChat tutorial, which will also be linked below. Next, we'll go ahead and just upload this. As you can see, I'm already logged in, but let's go ahead and move to this page. I will go ahead and put this link in the description as well. Just scroll down, and you're going to want the ABI Content Crea uh, Creation Kit Master Key. You'll just hit Copy, go back, find where it says Password, and paste that in. Finally, this is another thing. Since dynamic bones are optional, there, there's going to be something, if you don't have them, that says there's missing scripts. It's very simple. Just remove the missing scripts, and you're able to upload. This here, just hit OK, and it may take a few minutes. Finally, once you get to the screen, you're going to be seeing something that's a little bit similar to VR chat. You're going to have your content warnings. Please, please, please. Mark your content warnings, as this is just the base default Nardorgon. I'm not going to have to press anything. We're just going to continue to the next step. OK, that took me a second. I had to make the display a bit bigger in order to press the button. But of course, name it whatever you want. Put a description on it. You have a change log. This should be all optional. I don't know if I need to press anything here. I'm going to go ahead and just hit continue. It did not tell me I needed to press it, so I'm just going to assume that it is not needed. Finally, it's just your readmes. Read through it. It's not that much. But once you're done, just click them, continue. This seems like it's going to, oh wow, look at that. Already done. And I've uploaded your Nardorgon. And finally, 
For the Five Finger version, please just go into the description and check out the VR Chat version because it is relatively the same. I do touch on it lightly. I do not show you how to do it, but it is relatively the same to just after all the steps of importing everything, import the Five Finger version last. And one last thing before I forget, if you want to learn how to Change your upload photo inside of Unity. Check out the VRChat version. It should be relatively the same.